Gold scripture etched into black, rippling in the breeze, bracing, anticipating the next play. Old hands helping to steer fresh sails. But one will do best to remember that before streams of gold came the worn and torn pages of brown, face chewing the mud, fighting for that old bog seat for its 75th year. Such legends are forged on the field, tales transiting time, relived through the sprightly streams of our kinship. The engine room, our heart, grounding values of family and its worth. Patterson was his name. At the helm, our Webby, honoured titles by the many. Though above all the rest, our best friend one shall attest. Two beacons that burned the brightest, parables of our wisest, from the heights of Twickenham to our home of Copt Heath. Legends have passed through this trip. Battles both lost and won, binding us for nearly an age and many more ages to come. Grit and gumption between grid lines, knock-ons and knockbacks driving this forward. The roaring crowds at Cop Teeth as we raise our cup to the high heavens. We make for Galway, Prague and Newquay, where several more cups are raised, and perhaps a few more shared in the merry haze. Sunlight strides across the pitch, dancing between grid lines. Beams of triumph and glory. My captains, now my coaches, fulfilling their path, their duty. There is something wonderful, yet slightly melancholic, to be so present in such moments, taking ourselves out of the frame, witnessing a chapter so clearly marked. But now I stand silhouetted against the last light of the changing room, the chants of cop teeth. Linger now as a humming distant song, boot strings knotted and strung, but I'm reassured that they will be taken up time and time again, not yet by hands of grit, scars and experience, but of hope and youth, of stories yet to be etched into their spotless surfaces. Back down in numbers to a mere few, standing your ground on an uneven playing field is one of the most challenging things one can do. But the siren's call is the most resilient of them all, rising above adversity in defiance <laughs> and forming our own legacy. A stronghold of courageous hearts and an unshakable alliance. Now our ranks rally, and from cop teeth we carry, our message of resurgence. But let our legacy not be defined by its toils or labours. Let it be our trailblazers, our risk takers, and above all, our reach that grasps your attention. We stand together upon that very same playing field. Studs deep, stuck in the earth, the siren's call beckons to all and for those yet to come. In stealing a fortress, our fortress, that is not so easily vanquished. The new generation, the fearless 500, flank one another, face onto their foe, brisk in nature, unpredictable in conduct, to brave that Sunday morning every week requires more courage than one dares to show. A practice perfected by those before us, kept alive by the ones who wave us off from the sidelines with packed lunches and flasks of tea. Their commitment, their endeavour, spurs us to succeed. Young in the days of wearing our red and blue, yet already we are shaping our own legacy in the making, taking pride in representing our national sides. But our path laid ahead demands to be carefully tread, with lessons in fellowship and responsibility. I am the new generation, and you'll find me there every Sunday morning, one of the Fearless 500, following my calling. As we reminisce on the last 90 years, peering through a window in time, the blueprint is clear. Bruised knees, bursting hearts, and beaming faces. Remembering this, that I am part of this, the kindred parts of my kin, be it atoms or ordinary magic that has delivered me. There are very few places I would rather be than here in Cop Teeth. And as the years continue to turn, still here be the sills, a legacy flame for our cherished game that will forever burn.